Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is truly a privilege for me to introduce tonight's final recipient of the Walter P. Chrysler Legacy Award. Today happens to be the anniversary of the founding of Detroit in 1701. It is entirely appropriate that we honor Lee Iacocca tonight as there is such a deep bond that ties together Detroit Chrysler and this man who is one of the great leaders in the history of our company and of our city. Lee Iacocca's Chrysler took help once in the form of government loan guarantees and paid the loans back years early. I told him that the day that we pay the government back and that day will come, that I will take him to Washington so that he can home, hand over a check for the second time. And Lee Iacocca is one of the true giants in the automotive history. He steered Chrysler through crisis. He led the introduction of landmark vehicles like the K cars and the minivans and engineered the acquisition of Jeep. He was the driving force behind the creation of the superb Chrysler Tech Center. And for many years, he was the public face of the company, appearing in numerous TV commercials and writing a best-selling autobi autobiography. And during his time at Chrysler, Lee was not afraid to break the mold. He and his team had the courage to be real leaders. And today, we know that we must replicate this attitude as well as the speed of execution. Under this man's leadership, Chrysler came roaring back in one of the most celebrated comebacks in the history of industry. And he gave us a philosophy that still inspires us today when he said, we just don't want to be the biggest, we want to be the best. And speaking for today's Chrysler, we still take, still take this advice to heart because we're determined to transform Chrysler into a company that is once more respected and esteemed and that makes a valuable contribution to society. Lee, welcome home. No one could be more deserving of this induction into the Walter P. Chrysler Legacy Circle. There are times in life when you feel totally inadequate to stand here and represent the organization in honoring a man of the size and stature of Lee Iacocca. And there are a couple of people in the audience tonight that I would ask to come up here and help me do this. One is Alan Malali, who is the chief executive of Ford. And the, and the other one is the newly elected president of the UAW. I think that uh, Bob King, where is Bob? I think we got Lee who's waiting in the wings here, who was waiting for us to give him the award. Come on up, Lee. I'm honored, I'm really honored. I see all familiar faces out here. People who spent the last 25 years trying to keep Chrysler afloat. I see in the front row here at Harold Spurlick and Jerry Greenwald. Those are the guys that kept this place together. Now we got Mr. Marcioni coming in. He's, he's gonna do what we tried to do. Not only keep it alive, but have it prosper. So it's a lot of nostalgia tonight and very touching that all of you people came out. And uh, I think the big three is coming back, really. So, but again, for all you wonderful people out there, thanks for being out here. I'm greatly honored. And uh, I think we're uh, in for a little bit of prosperity after a few, little rough time. And I'm depending on Syria Marcioni to bring over the Fiat label, put it together over here and help give Chrysler a huge boost in the small car market for sure. So anyway, uh, let's count our blessings and uh, let's get together and make this work, okay?